Hey guys, my name is Shy. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. You got pals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number ten. Okay, card number one. The magician. That is a yes. That is a yes saying you can do basically whatever you want to do. You have the power, the resources, the intelligence, and the skills to bring multiple facets of energy together to create, to manifest, and to achieve. Look at that eye, guys. <laughs> Look at that eye staring at you. The universe wants you to know that you got this. This is a yes. Card number two, justice. For you guys, I'm going to say this is a yes because I'm choosing to believe that all of my viewers are in their integrity, in their authenticity, and that all good things are coming to you. So, but this card is basically about balancing energies. There is a risk here that if you have been doing something you shouldn't have, that karma is going to come around, bite you in the ass, and... Things are going to work out very poorly for you, but basically this means you're going to get what you deserve. I think you, my dearest viewer, are going to be getting what you deserve in a good way, but for anybody who is watching this that knows, that has a guilty conscience, if your conscience has been nagging you and you feel like you shouldn't have done something, this is not a very good sign for you, but it does mean that you have an opportunity to make things right, make amends. And if you get the jump on that, if there's somebody you need to apologize to, if there's something you need to do to say something right, go do that now. Don't wait for the universe to do it for you. <laughs> um, it'll be better for you and everybody in the long run if you bite the bullet and go ahead and sort things out first. But for everybody else who's been feeling taken advantage of or feeling disadvantaged or feeling that just things aren't going your way, uh, as long as you've been in your integrity and in your authenticity, this is going to be working out for your benefit. This is a yes for most people. Card number three. Ten of Swords. That's a no. You can just see this poor little rat stabbed in the back. The rat is dead. Things are done. If you're asking if you should go back to something, whether that's a job, a place, or a person, absolutely no. This is an indication that the cycle is over. If you are asking, should you do something in the future? The answer is still a no. This is going to say that try, try, try as you might. There are going to be obstacles and barricades and just all kinds of crap coming out of the woodwork to stop whatever you're trying to do. It's just not going to happen. You can bang your head against the wall for the rest of the year if you want, but this is highly, highly unlikely to ever manifest for you. But just remember that it's just not part of your path. And when one door closes, another door is opening. There is something else, something better for you than whatever you're wondering about. Card number four, three of cups. That is a beautiful, wonderful yes. Who would not want to be partying with three dolphins with flowers on their heads? This is a coming together of soul family. This is being in flow with the people around you, with the energies around you. This is everything working together. It's like a vortex of love and joy and, you know, water, really water. This is a really, really watery card. And I love that it's represented by the dolphins in this deck. This is a yes. This is just, it's really, really nice, really, really pleasant. And I don't have too much else to say about that uh, for the for this reading. This is a yes. Card number five, nine of wands. I feel pretty good about this nine of wands. I'm going to go with a yes on this one, but it's not going to be easy. Like, I feel like this monkey's kind of got this. He's, <laughs> he's climbing over all these wands or he's juggling them. He's having a bit of a hard time. It's, he's probably pretty tired. You're kind of at the last gasp. It's like you're Sam and Frodo on the slopes of Mount Doom. And you're just, you're so close. You're going to do this. You got this. 
but you're going to be tired. You're going to be wondering if it was all worth it, but deep down, you know, it was all worth it. So just hang in there, guys. You're almost there. You almost got it. This is a yes. Um, and all of those elements of fatigue you might be feeling, they're going to pass, right? You're going to eventually have your accompl accomplishment, your achievement, and the fatigue and doubts you have right now, those will pass. Card number six, Earth Mother. This is the Empress. This is a yes. Look at that. She doesn't have a head because the universe is her head. There's that thing in meditation where you can feel like you have no head. That is, <laughs> that is what she is experiencing right now because she is one with the tree of life. She is the tree of life. This is a yes. If you're looking to connect with, connect with Gaia, connect with higher dimensional beings, connect with your subconscious, with your super conscious, passed on loved ones. This to me, this really, really speaks of connection and with the oneness of the universe, how everything is part of the tree of life. Yeah, this emperor, this particular empress card really vibes interconnection for me. There could be people coming in, helping you build something new. Everything is going to be interweaving, interconnecting and coming together for you. Absolutely a yes. Card number seven. Heart of Swords, that is the Queen of Swords. Here you go, represented by this panther with these feathers. I like this, this Queen of Swords, this Heart of Swords. I like this, it is a yes. There's, but there's something mysterious about it, isn't there? I feel like there's a, whatever you're asking about is shrouded in mystery and it will eventually come to light because the Heart of Swords or the Queen of Swords brings light to situations, sheds sheds light and can see things that others cannot see. So, I mean, you're all asking about different things and it is your role right now to pierce to the heart of the mystery. You're going to pierce the heart of darkness. You're going to be shining your light into something and illuminating either your path or some kind of mystery, or maybe even some kind of controversy, you guys might be getting information that other people don't have. And make sure you really get careful, tune into your heart space and decide, you need to discern if it's really information that needs to be shared, or if it is only information that is just for you. But for the most part, this is a yes. Card number eight, five of cups, this is a no. This crow is sitting on a blue heart. All the goblets are knocked over. This heart almost looks dead to me. It's it's blue. It is iced over. The party is over. That that is what I get from this card. The party is over. The carry-on crows are coming in. Something is has been severed. Some kind of cord. Somebody has been cutting cords. For some people, this might actually, this is a no, but it, it is almost like a good, a good thing. It, it's probably hurting. It has been unpleasant for you, but for your long run, it'll be good. If you, if you have to cut cords with somebody or if you've done, recently done a cord cutting ceremony even, this is a good sign because those connections are being severed. Connections are being severed right now. That is what this is about. Um, you know, the, the blood can no longer make it back to the heart, but, and, but it's okay because this heart is poison. This heart was poisoned. You were drinking out of a poisoned well, and you never have to go back to that. So this is a no, but there is a silver lining on this one, I really feel. For some people, they have separated themselves from something that was toxic, and that is for your greatest good. Card number 10. Or sorry, this is number nine, but it is the Ten of Pentacles. Everybody loves to see that. We all know what that means. That is a yes. That is your money woes are over. Depending on where you're vibing right now, this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be filthy rich, but it does mean you're going to have enough. You're going to get your, bill, your bills paid. If you're still waiting for, you know, money from the government that uh, lots of countries are sending out to their citizens, this is a sign that that's going to be coming in. You know, you're going to be getting that job or you're going to be... You're going to be okay. Your physical well-being, you're, you are safe. You have what you need. You will, you will have everything that you need and your family is safe. This is comfort and abundance. Just think of the elephant 
with her with her family. Not very many things can mess with an elephant. So you guys are good. This is a yes. And card number 10. Eight of pentacles. Somebody is working on something like the beaver. This beaver, he is so close to achieving mastery. If you've been working on a new skill or if you're thinking about some kind of future plans, whatever you're planning on for the future, this is a really auspicious sign. It's saying you're going to have to put some work in. You're going to have to attain mastery. You might have to learn something, learn a new skill, find a new way of doing things. But this is so much, you just, you're going to have to make like the beaver, get a bit, be, be like the busy beaver. And I really like this because I'm Canadian and, uh, you guys probably know, even if you're not Canadian, you know that the beaver is our animal. So, so I like to see the beaver. He is getting to work. He is busy being busy, and he's also self-sufficient. Just think of what the beaver can do: how he can build that dam, how he builds himself a pond to live in, and then he builds his lodge. Have you guys ever been in a beaver lodge? Maybe that's something only Canadian children do. But I've uh, not not like one in a pond because that would be all wet and stuff, right? But um, in museums in Canada, they usually have beaver lodges, uh, replica, repl replicas of them, right? But you can we let little kids crawl into them and you can go in and take a look to see what it would look like to be a beaver. It is so cool. They are so industrious and awesome. <laughs> and they really build a happy, cozy home for themselves where they have exactly what they need and they don't need to rely on anybody but themselves, right? They just use their teeth and their little, their little hands and their tails and they got this. So you guys got this. Whatever you need to do, you can do it. This is a yes. And I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.